The population-based HIV impact assessment project is a series of HIV-focused national surveys that aim to measure the key indicators that we need to have in order to understand how we're doing with the epidemic and to guide future programs and the use of future resources. We've had um, estimates of HIV prevalence through demographic and health surveys for approximately 10 years, but important indicators such as HIV incidence and more recently the 90-90-90 indicators have only been available either through modeling for incidence or through facility-based data for the 90-90-90 estimates. But we really need to know what's going on at the population level so that we understand not just what's happening with the people who are accessing care and treatment at healthcare facilities, but what is the story with people who are not accessing care and treatment at healthcare facilities. That's what we mean by population-based. So we are doing surveys and going to people's homes. We ask them questions and do um, HIV testing in the home. We return results, we provide counseling, we do referrals to care. And this way we're getting as close as one can get to a true estimate of not just HIV prevalence, but the rate of new HIV infections um, using more sophisticated incidence assays. We do viral load measurements on everybody who's HIV positive, and then we ask them questions about care and treatment, and we are in the middle of also doing ARV detection assays, which will allow us to refine our estimates of who actually is aware of their diagnosis and who's on treatment. We have completed data collection in seven countries, and we're a little more than halfway through our five-year project period, and so to be done with seven out of 14 countries is just where we want to be for halfway through the project. We have data collection going on right now in two more countries, and we are poised to begin in a couple of more, and then we're lining things up for additional countries in, in 2018.